Hey guys, welcome back to the house where we talk news, celebrities, and hot topics. Y'all, we have a really good video for you tonight because, hun, tea, we got some tea on the Real Housewives of Atlanta season 13 reunion, okay? And I have a feeling you guys are not going to be disappointed. So if you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and let's get straight into the video. All right, y'all. So before we get started, of course, we got to shout out our sponsor, The Coldest Water. You guys know that this water bottle is my favorite of all time. We could just go ahead and call it to go. Uh, it keeps your water cold for 25 plus hours, which is the reason why it's my favorite. So if you guys want to purchase one, go ahead and check out the links in the description box below. And of course, you guys know I got you. Use my code HOA for an extra 10% off. Now let's get straight into the mess. All right, y'all. So this first piece of information comes from Twitter, child. Okay. And I don't know if you guys are aware, but Twitter be having a lot of the tea. Okay. I'll be getting my tea from Twitter and then I come here to the house of Aaron to spill it. And so follow the housewives pages on Twitter so you can get all the extra information. But honey, while I was on Twitter, just randomly scrolling, I saw a lot of the fans talking about the reunion. And I'm just going to go ahead and preface this by saying I'm not 100% sure what the theme of the reunion is going to be. But we do have reason to believe, okay, that the reunion is probably, most likely, potentially going to be themed Welcome to the Dungeon, okay? And y'all, I am so excited, okay? When I heard this, I was just like, oh, Welcome to the Dungeon reunion? Yes, bitch, okay? I am all the way here for it. Now, you guys know that usually for these housewives reunions, they base the theme off of the cast trip. And we know that the ladies in Atlanta are going to be headed to New Orleans later on in the season. And a New Orleans themed reunion, you know, could be cute or whatever. But I kind of feel like at this point, it's kind of tired. OK, it's kind of old. We can retire the cast trip themed reunions and we can usher in the dungeon because I just kind of feel like the dungeon is going to be fabulous. OK, I feel like it's different. I could just see it now. The big, long hair the beautiful makeup, the smoky eyes, the beautiful black dresses, the leather, the silver hardware, you know, the white and red lights in the background. Yeah, okay, a dungeon theme reunion is gonna be lit. And why not? Because we do know that the dungeon gave everybody on the cast a storyline this season, okay? So definitely let me know what you guys think about a possible dungeon theme down in the comments below. Now, speaking of things we want at the reunion, um, I want to see Tanya sit her ass on that couch for the reunion and answer some of these questions, okay? Because, girl, after the Charleston of the South Carolina trip, you flew away like a bird and fled to Canada, and we want to know why, okay? We want to know what was the reason, sis. We want to know why you fled the scene right after Kenya got into your shit and exposed you for possibly, potentially, allegedly having a threesome with Bolo and Portia. Hmm. Okay. Because if we really want to be honest, am I a fan of Kenya Moore hair care? Absolutely not. But do I think she's lying about the situation? Do I think she's lying about hearing things in the hallway? I don't think so. And I actually think, okay, Kenya has proof. And that's another thing that I want to be answered at the reunion. I want to know if Kenya took it upon herself to record audio outside of Portia's door because she was hearing Bolo, Portia, and another woman have sex. All right. I want to know if she recorded the audio because she kind of implied or alluded to that fact, but we don't know for sure. And so... If I'm Portia at the reunion, okay, for season 13, and I'm going back and forth with Kenya about did I or did I not sleep with the stripper, I would just straight up, you know, ask Kenya as Portia, well, do you have proof? Okay, since you heard this stuff, do you have proof that you heard it? And then that will kind of force Kenya's hand into admitting whether or not she has audio. Now, if Kenya took it upon herself to record someone having sex audio-wise, I feel like that's pretty disgusting, okay? That's pretty disgusting. And I feel like Kenya should just flat out say yes or no if she recorded audio or not. Now, speaking of Kenya, child, 
Y'all remember when Kenya brought out that fan to one of the reunions and was continuously flapping it around everywhere? Okay. Do you guys remember that reunion where, you know, Kenya had that scepter and was pointing it at people being, you know, very provocative, provoking people and whatnot? Well, it's looking like someone for season 13 is trying to bring a prop child, okay? We do know that the reunion is right around the corner and the girls are getting their reads together, they getting their outfits together, and they getting their props together. And according to the Peach Report Daily, child, make sure you guys follow the Peach Report Daily on Twitter because, honey, their tea is top notch. But today on Twitter, they said, LMAO, someone is trying to find a way to bring a shady prop to the reunion to prove a point. Hmm. Now, who do you guys think is trying to bring a shady prop? I'm just going to go ahead and base it off of history. I think it's going to be Kenya because like I said, she's known to bring props. But I also would not put this past LaToya, okay? Because we know LaToya was known to be walking around that house in Charleston of the South Carolina with that wig, okay, that she was going to gift, you know, Drewisha. But Drew was just too smart, okay? She was two steps ahead and just offered her an autographed headshot instead, all right? And so I kind of feel like it's going to be Kenya or LaToya who is most likely going to bring a prop to the reunion. Now, last but not least, let's talk about Miss Drew Sodora because she recently did an interview with the Jasmine brand. If you want to check out the exclusive interview, go ahead and, you know, click the link in the description box below. Now, Drew Sedora was asked, who at the reunion do you want to ask a question and what would that question be? Drew said, of course, I have some questions for Kenya, okay? Now, we know Kenya and Drew have not had the best relationship. We know that they had a sing-off and they was fighting over whether we're going to split the bill or if one person is going to pay for everything. They were consistently talking about each other's husbands. They was consistently talking about each other's wigs and hair. And we just know that they don't see eye to eye. So it's not a surprise that Drew would have a couple of questions for Miss Kenya Moore hair care. Now, with that being said, she said she wanted to ask Kenya, why did Kenya judge her so hard in the beginning with the whole wig situation, right? We know LaToya was on this bandwagon of let's bully Drew. And Kenya Moore hair care isn't innocent in that because she was definitely in on the jokes. She was definitely egging LaToya on to talk trash about Drew's hair. And it does seem to me like Kenya never really fully gave, you know, Drew a real chance. And you guys, mix that in with the whole private jet situation, okay? Mix that in with the fact that Kenya did not extend an invite for the other ladies to bring their kids to the Charleston of the South Carolina, okay? And so I can kind of see why Drew is looking at Kenya like, girl, you were just not here for me from the beginning, right? I feel like Drew at this reunion doesn't even need to give Kenya any type of explanation as to why she feels some type of way. I feel like all Drew needs to say is, you're a negative person and because of that, I don't like your ass, okay? It is what it is and it's gonna be what it's gonna be. So let me know what you guys think about the entire situation. What are some questions you want asked at this year's reunion? How do you guys feel about the whole prop situation? Do you think Kenya or LaToya are planning on bringing a prop? Do you want to see Tanya come back? Do you want to see Bolo come on? And then also let me know what you guys think about the dungeon theme, okay? This whole thing is going to be fabulous. And I have a feeling we are going to be in for a wild ride, okay? Bolo's ride, child. So let me know what you guys think. If you guys like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and I will see you guys a little bit later. Love you and don't forget to create a great day. Bye you guys.